In a world filled with uncertainty and doubt, have you ever found yourself searching for a glimmer of hope, a sign that your prayers are being heard? Imagine waking up one morning to find unexpected joy flooding your heart, or feeling a sudden surge of energy propelling you towards your dreams. What if I told you that these moments are not mere coincidence, but powerful signs from above? Welcome to a journey where divine blessings reveal themselves in the most unexpected ways. Picture this. You're amidst a storm of challenges, yet a profound sense of peace washes over you, calming your restless soul. Or perhaps you stumble upon a breathtaking sunset, and in that moment you feel an undeniable connection to something greater than yourself. These aren't just fleeting moments. They're divine whispers, gentle nudges from a loving creator guiding you towards a path filled with purpose and abundance. Join me as we unravel the mystery behind these nine uncommon signs that confirm God's blessings are on their way. Let's dive in and discover the extraordinary blessings awaiting you. The first sign that God's blessings are on their way might be something you've already begun to feel without even realizing its significance, a sense of completion. Let's delve into what this means and how it manifests in our lives. A sense of completion doesn't necessarily mean that all your projects are finished or that every goal has been met. Rather, it's an inner feeling that a significant phase of your life or a long-term challenge is coming to a fulfilling end. It's like closing a chapter with a sense of peace, knowing you've done everything you were meant to do in that season. Think about a time when you completed a major project, whether at work, in your personal life, or in your spiritual journey. Remember the satisfaction and relief that washed over you? That profound sense of accomplishment is not just about finishing tasks, it's about God preparing you for the next steps, the next blessings He has in store. This concept is beautifully illustrated in the Bible with the story of Nehemiah. Despite significant opposition and numerous challenges, Nehemiah completed the rebuilding of Jerusalem's wall. It was a monumental task that many thought impossible, yet Nehemiah 6, 15 tells us. So the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul, in 52 days. His completion was not just about physical walls. It was a restoration of hope and security for an entire community. Now, let's bring this closer to home. Have you recently completed a significant phase in your life? Perhaps you finished your education, overcome a challenging situation, or maybe you're nearing the end of a big project. This completion is a sign, a clear marker from God that he is paving the way for new blessings. So what can you do when you feel this sense of completion? First, take a moment to thank God for helping you through this phase. Reflect on what you've learned and prepare yourself for the new doors that will open as a result. Embrace the ending because it's also a beginning. Feeling a sense of completion is truly uplifting. It reassures us that God is actively involved in our journey, aligning things perfectly for the next blessing. As you recognize this sign in your life, hold on to the peace and readiness it brings. Speaking of readiness, our next sign involves an unexpected joy that arrives just when you need it most. Stay tuned as we explore what these moments of joy can mean in your life. As we move from a sense of completion to our next sign, let's explore something lighter but profoundly meaningful unexpected bursts of joy. These are not just happy moments. They are deep, soul-touching experiences that seem to come out of nowhere. Unexpected bursts of joy are those moments when, despite the usual stresses of life or even during mundane tasks, you find yourself overwhelmed with happiness. This joy is distinct because it feels larger than the sum of its parts. It's as if a light shines down on you, 
filling you with warmth and peace. Imagine you're walking down the street, lost in thought, and suddenly you hear a child's laughter or see a beautiful scene that catches your breath. For a moment, everything feels right in the world. These bursts of joy are little nudges from God, reminding us of His presence and His ongoing work in our lives. David, a man after God's own heart, often experienced such joy. Even as he faced great adversity, including threats to his life, he found reasons to rejoice. In 2 Samuel 6, 14, we read, And David danced before the LORD with all his might. His joy was so profound that it moved him to dance passionately, celebrating God's blessings with his whole being. Now, think about your own life. Can you recall a recent moment of unexpected joy? Perhaps it was a phone call from an old friend, an unexpected positive outcome, or even a peaceful feeling during prayer. These moments are significant, not just for their happiness, but for their timing. They often come just when we need them most. When you experience these bursts of joy, take a moment to acknowledge them. See them as divine reminders that God is with you, caring for you in ways you might not even realize. Let these moments lift your spirits and strengthen your faith. They are reminders that no matter what you face, God's blessings are intertwined in your life's fabric. And these moments of joy aren't just for you. They are also opportunities to share your happiness with others. Joy is contagious. By sharing your experience, you might just be the bearer of God's blessing to someone else who needs a lift. Remember, God's joy often comes when least expected, but precisely when needed most. As we cherish these bursts of joy, let's stay open to the many ways God speaks to us, often turning ordinary days into extraordinary testimonies of His love and grace. Speaking of grace, our next sign involves the profound peace that can envelop us even in the midst of life's storms. Let's delve into how this peace is a powerful signal of God's blessings in our lives. As we continue to explore the signs of God's blessings, let's delve into something a bit more profound and transformative spiritual discernment. This is not just about making wise choices. It's about sensing God's direction in a deeply intuitive way. Spiritual discernment is the ability to understand beyond the surface of everyday situations and perceive the spiritual realities at play. It's about seeing with the eyes of your heart, recognizing where God is leading you and what He might be steering you away from. This discernment is often accompanied by a clarity of thought and a certainty in decisions that align with God's Word and will. Think back to a time when you faced a difficult decision. Amidst all the noise and confusion, there might have been a moment where a certain path just felt right, or perhaps a scripture came to mind that guided your steps. That spiritual discernment at work, God's Spirit communicating with your spirit, providing guidance when you need it most. King Solomon is a prime example of someone who sought and received divine discernment. In 1 Kings 3, 9, Solomon didn't ask for wealth or long life, but for an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. God granted this request, blessing Solomon with wisdom that was renowned across all lands. Now, reflect on your own experiences. Have you ever felt a sudden understanding or clarity in a situation that seemed beyond your natural insight. These moments can be subtle or overwhelming, but they are always marked by a peace that confirms you are walking in accordance with God's plan. To cultivate spiritual discernment, spend time in God's Word and in prayer. Ask God to open the eyes of your heart to help you see and understand His will. Engage with the Bible not just as a book, but as a living conversation with God, allowing His Holy Spirit to illuminate truths 
that direct your paths. Spiritual discernment also requires community. Often, God will confirm his guidance through conversations with other believers. So, stay connected with your spiritual community, share your insights, and be open to the wisdom that can come through godly counsel. As you grow in spiritual discernment, you'll find yourself more attuned to the nuances of God's guidance, making decisions with confidence and peace. And as we become more discerning spiritually, we also find ourselves energized for the tasks God sets before us. This leads us to our next sign of God's blessings, renewed energy. Stay with us as we explore how this vital sign can transform your daily walk with God. Following the path of spiritual discernment leads us naturally to our next sign, renewed energy. This isn't just about feeling less physically tired. It's a revitalization that permeates your spirit, emotions, and mind, enabling you to engage with life and your divine purpose with newfound vigor. Renewed energy from God can often come just when we feel our reserves are depleted. It's like a second wind that not only uplifts us physically, but also invigorates our passion for our callings and our service to others. This energy is a clear indication that God is not only working in you, but also through you. Have you ever reached a point where you felt you could not go on, only to wake up one morning feeling unexpectedly refreshed and motivated? This is more than just a good night's sleep. It's a manifestation of God's grace filling you with the energy needed for the tasks he has prepared for you. A wonderful biblical example of this is found in the book of Isaiah. In Isaiah 40, 31, we read, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This promise isn't just poetic. It's practical promising God's empowerment to those who trust in Him. Consider how this sign might be manifesting in your life. Are there areas where you've recently felt a surge of energy, perhaps in tackling a long-standing project, serving in your community, or pursuing a spiritual discipline? These are not coincidences. They are divine appointments where your readiness meets God's timing. To tap into this renewed energy Maintain a lifestyle of spiritual health. Prioritize prayer, worship, and scripture reading, not as duties, but as ways to connect deeply with the source of all strength. Also, ensure you are physically resting and eating well. Our physical well-being is deeply connected to our spiritual vitality. It's also important to listen to your body and spirit. When you feel this renewed energy, it's often God's way of nudging you towards action. Don't ignore it. Embrace this energy and let it drive you towards fulfilling the great work God has set before you. Embracing the renewed energy God gives us can lead to profound changes, not only in our lives, but also in the lives of those around us. As we learn to operate within this divine strength, we open ourselves up to forming deeper, more meaningful connections, our next sign. Stay tuned as we explore how divine connections signal the impending blessings of God. Moving forward from renewed energy, we encounter another uplifting sign of God's blessings, divine connection. These are not just any relationships. These are providential meetings orchestrated by God bringing people into your life who can influence your spiritual journey, provide wisdom, or open doors in unexpected ways. Divine connections often come at pivotal moments. They may appear as mentors, friends, or even strangers who deliver a message you needed to hear. These interactions are marked by their timing and the impact they have aligning perfectly with your needs and God's plans for you. Think about a time when someone entered your life at just the right moment. Perhaps their words, 
or actions had a profound effect on you, or maybe they offered support during a difficult time. Reflect on how that relationship has helped you grow spiritually or navigate life's challenges. The Bible is replete with stories of divine connections. Consider the relationship between Ruth and Boaz. Ruth, a Moabite widow, met Boaz during a time of great personal need, and he became a pivotal person in her life, leading to her becoming part of the lineage of David, and eventually Jesus, Ruth too. This wasn't mere coincidence. It was a divine orchestration. Now, look at your own relationships through this lens. Are there recent meetings that seemed coincidentally timely? Maybe a new acquaintance or a rekindled friendship has brought light to your path or encouragement to your soul. These connections are potential signs of God preparing you for what's next. To nurture these divine connections, remain open and attentive to new relationships. Engage genuinely with those you meet and be mindful of the impact they have on your life. Prayerfully consider the roles they play and ask God to reveal how these connections might be part of His greater plan for you. Also, be a divine connection for others. Sometimes, you are the answer to someone's prayer. By being conscious of the needs around you and willing to act on God's nudges, you can become a pivotal part of God's blessings in someone else's life. Embracing the idea of divine connections can transform how you view every encounter in your life. As you learn to see God's hand in your relationships, you also learn to trust His guidance more deeply. Speaking of trust, our next sign involves recognizing the unexpected gifts that come into our lives, often just when we need them most. Let's explore how these gifts can be clear markers of God's blessings. From divine connections, we now transition to another heartwarming sign of God's presence in our lives, unexpected gifts. These gifts come in many forms, tangible and intangible, and often arrive just when we need them most, serving as reminders of God's timely grace and provision. Unexpected gifts can be anything from a financial blessing when finances are tight, to a word of encouragement during a tough day. Sometimes, they are answers to prayers we haven't even voiced, manifesting God's intimate knowledge of our needs and His desire to meet them. Recall a moment when you received something unexpectedly that made a significant difference at that time. It could have been a helpful resource, an offer of assistance, or even a small gesture of kindness. These gifts often carry with them a profound sense of being cared for and looked after. Scripture offers us numerous examples of such providential gifts. One poignant instance is the arrival of the Magi to visit Jesus after his birth. They brought gold, frankincense, and mere gifts of great value and symbolic significance arriving at a time when Mary and Joseph would soon need resources for their impending flight to Egypt. Matthew 2, 11, 14. This was no mere coincidence. It was a divine provision. Consider the unexpected gifts in your life. How might they have been more than just coincidences? Look at the timing, the nature of the gift, and the specific needs you had at that moment. Reflecting on these can help you see how closely God is involved in the details of your life. To fully embrace and recognize these gifts, cultivate a heart of gratitude. Make it a daily practice to acknowledge even the smallest blessings. This mindset not only enhances your ability to notice God's gifts, but also aligns your spirit with His generosity, opening the door for more blessings. Moreover, Consider how you can be a conduit of unexpected gifts to others. Sometimes, God uses us to deliver these divine surprises to those around us. By being generous and attentive to others' needs, 
you embody the giving nature of God Himself. Recognizing and appreciating unexpected gifts nurtures a life of gratitude and trust in God's provision. As we learn to see God in the details, we often experience a shift in how we view our circumstances, which leads us beautifully into our next sign, a shift in perspective. Stay tuned as we explore how this change in viewpoint can signify the impending blessings in your life. As we continue to explore the signs of God's blessings, our next focus is on a transformative experience that often goes unnoticed, a shift in perspective. This is more than just seeing the glass half full. It's a deep, spiritual realignment that changes how you view your life and the world around you. A shift in perspective often comes after prayerful reflection or during times of hardship. It is a gift from God that allows us to see our situations through His eyes, understanding perhaps for the first time the true purpose behind our trials and the hidden blessings in our struggles. Think about a time when your outlook on a difficult situation changed almost overnight. You might have felt overwhelmed or defeated, but then something clicked and suddenly you saw opportunities for growth and learning where previously you only saw obstacles. The Apostle Paul is a perfect example of someone who experienced a significant shift in perspective. Once a persecutor of Christians, his encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus completely transformed his view of God and his teachings. Paul's letters, filled with insights and wisdom, were written from a place of profound spiritual understanding and alignment with Christ's mission, Acts 9, 122. Now, let's bring this closer to your own experiences. Reflect on recent changes in your perspective. Have you started to see your work, relationships, or challenges in a new light? These shifts are often subtle but powerful indicators that God is actively blessing and reshaping your journey. To cultivate and embrace these shifts in perspective, spend time in contemplation and prayer. Ask God to renew your mind and help you see your life through His lens. Engage with Scripture. The words of the Bible are living and active, capable of transforming our minds and hearts. Additionally, discuss these changes with trusted spiritual mentors or friends. Sometimes, external validation helps clarify and affirm that these new insights are aligned with God's truth and His plans for you. Embracing a shift in perspective can profoundly affect your faith journey, opening up new paths of understanding and acceptance. It's a clear sign that God is moving in your life, preparing you for future blessings and deeper spiritual engagements. As we adjust our views, we often become more aware of the beauty and messages in our environment, which leads us to our next sign, nature's whisper. Stay tuned as we explore how encounters with nature can be divine communications meant to guide and reassure us. Moving from the inward journey of shifting perspectives, let's now step outside to explore our next sign of God's blessings, nature's whisper. This sign is about recognizing the divine messages and comfort that come through our natural environment. Nature's whisper can be as grand as a mountain vista that stirs your soul or as subtle as the comforting shade of a tree on a hot day. These are moments when the beauty and serenity of the natural world speak directly to our hearts, reminding us of God's presence and His creation's majesty. Think about a time when you felt an overwhelming sense of peace or awe while in nature. Maybe it was watching the waves crash on the shore or observing the intricate design of a leaf. These moments are not just beautiful. They are messages of reassurance from God, telling us that He is in control and creatively at work in our lives. The Bible frequently highlights the importance of nature in experiencing God. For instance, in Job 12, 7-10, it is said, 
but ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you. Each element of nature testifies to God's power and character. Now, reflect on the natural settings that have impacted you recently. Have you felt drawn to spend time outdoors? These pulls towards nature are not merely coincidental. They are invitations to encounter God in the simplicity and depth of His creation. To more fully experience and understand these whispers, make a deliberate effort to spend time in nature. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike in the mountains, or simply sitting in your garden, allow yourself moments of quiet to listen and observe. These are precious times when clarity often comes and God's voice can be heard through the rustling leaves or flowing water. As you immerse yourself in nature, bring along a journal. Write down your thoughts, feelings, and any revelations that come. This practice not only deepens your connection with nature, but also with God, as you document the journey and His whispers along the way. Nature's ability to communicate God's blessing in our lives is profound and moving. Let these natural encounters inspire and comfort you, reinforcing the knowledge that you are never alone. Next, we'll explore how a compelling urge to create can be a sign that God is actively working through you to bring about blessings, not only in your lives, but also in the lives of others. Stay tuned as we delve into the power of creativity as a divine sign. As we approach the culmination of our exploration of God's blessings, let's turn our attention to a deeply stirring and transformative sign, a compelling urge to create. This isn't limited to artistic endeavors. It's about feeling a divine inspiration to bring something new and meaningful into existence. A compelling urge to create is often accompanied by a sense of purpose and excitement. It's as if God is planting seeds of creativity within you, urging you to use your talents and gifts to make a positive impact in the world. Whether it's writing, painting, singing, or any other form of expression, this urge is a call to action from the divine. Consider moments when you felt a strong pull towards a creative pursuit. Maybe you suddenly had an idea for a story, or you felt inspired to pick up a paintbrush after years of neglecting your artistic side. These impulses are not random. They are God's way of igniting your passion and guiding you towards fulfilling His purposes. In the book of Exodus, we see God equipping Bezalel with creative gifts and skills for the construction of the tabernacle. Exodus 31, 3, 5 tells us, I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze. Bezalel's creativity was not his own. It was a divine gift entrusted to him for a specific purpose. Now, reflect on the creative urges stirring within you. Have you felt drawn to start a new project, explore a new hobby, or share your talents with others? These nudges are God's way of guiding you towards avenues where you can glorify Him and bring blessings to others. To honor and respond to this compelling urge to create, take practical steps to nurture your creativity. Set aside dedicated time for your creative pursuits, surround yourself with inspiration, and seek opportunities to collaborate with others who share your passion. By actively engaging with this urge, you align yourself with God's creative purposes for your life. Remember, creativity is not limited to traditional artistic endeavors. It can also manifest in problem-solving, innovation, and acts of kindness. Allow yourself to explore different avenues of expression, 
trusting that God will guide you as you step out in faith. Embracing the compelling urge to create opens doors to new possibilities and blessings beyond measure. As you respond to this divine call, may you experience the joy of co-creating with God and the fulfillment of using your gifts to enrich the world around you. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Remember, God's blessings are abundant and ever-present, waiting to be recognized and embraced in every aspect of our lives. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the signs of God's blessings. From unexpected gifts to the compelling urge to create, we've explored the myriad ways in which God manifests His love and presence in our lives. But our exploration doesn't end here. There are countless more blessings waiting to be discovered, and we invite you to continue this journey with us. As you reflect on the signs we've discussed, we encourage you to stay open and receptive to God's guidance. Look for these signs in your own life and be ready to embrace the blessings that await you. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. God is with you every step of the way, guiding, comforting, and blessing you abundantly. So, here's our challenge to you. Take a moment to share in the comments below which of these signs resonated with you the most and how you've seen God's blessings at work in your life. Your stories inspire us all and remind us of the incredible ways God shows up in our everyday lives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more uplifting content. Until next time, may you continue to walk in the light of God's blessings. Blessings to you all.